Hello Internet, my name is Ayla Tesler Mabe, and in this video I'm going to give you a few tricks you can use to start writing songs on the guitar. Maybe you've already tried writing some music, or maybe you want to try. Either way, this lesson will get you on the road to writing songs right away, even if you're a beginner. So let's dive in. So firstly, what is a song? Most simply, a lot of songs consist of some sort of harmonic framework played on an instrument like the guitar, or the piano, for example, basically playing chords, which some sort of melody will probably exist on top of. So a melody can be played on another instrument, or in a lot of popular music, uh, the melody is sung with the voice. When it comes to songwriting, there's no real right way to approach it. However, it's most common for people to either start with lyrics with a vocal melody that then needs to find chords, or start with the chord progression and then find a melody and lyrics that fit over top. I personally prefer the latter method at this point in my songwriting life, but like I said, there's no objective best way as long as a song is the result of your method. For a lot of people, the struggle is figuring out what chords sound good together. It just so happens that there are ways to find groups of chords that sound good together, and these chords are known as diatonic chords. So diatonic chords all belong to the same key and they come from the same parent scale and thus are literally mathematically guaranteed to work well and sound nice together. So how do we find these chords? Firstly, I'm going to give you a group of open chords that work nicely together so even beginners can start experimenting with these chords to start writing music. So let's get into it. Luckily, these are the chords that are often among the very first a beginner guitar player learns. So like I said, even a beginner can start putting these chords together and writing music. So if we're in the key of G, let's start with the G major chord. Everyone loves G major. You might know it as this four finger chord. Some people know it with a slightly different chord voicing where they're only using three fingers. Either way, the chord diagram is on the screen for you to follow along with. Once you play your G major and have established the key center that we're in, you know, the feeling of G major, let's move to A minor. This is another chord that a lot of people learn when they're first beginning on the guitar, so hopefully you know this one. And if not, you should learn it, because it's a great one. And the diagram's on screen for you to use. Now try moving to a C major chord. And now D major and E minor. Now these aren't all of the chords that belong to the key of G major, but these are definitely the most accessible ones. It just so happens that we can already form lots of great chord progressions with these five chords alone. So firstly, we can play G major, C major to D major. And now the thing is, once you have your chords, you can really play them any way you want, with any kind of feel you want. You could play something simple like this, where the chords are just ringing out for four counts, four beats. Or you could try to add some sort of strumming pattern could hold this D major chord for an extra bar if you want. You could pick the strings individually. You could even not use a pick at all, you could finger pick. It's literally whatever you want. So the next chord progression, let's add just one chord to the previous progression. So we can start with a G major. Now we're going to throw an A minor in there. And then a C major. And then a D major. There you go. So just by adding one chord to a progression that we previous, previously played, it feels totally different. And it has a completely different feeling and emotional quality to it. 
Now another chord progression that you hear in a lot of music would be something like G major. Now let's swap out that A minor for an E minor. And then C major. D major. And I highly encourage you to try these progressions and try them in the order that I just showed you just for practice and just because those are groupings and orders that you often hear those chords in. But the whole point is to be creative, try stuff out, try putting them in any order you want. You literally can do anything. That's the whole point of songwriting. And you also do not have to start with G major as the starting chord. You can make the progression as long or as short as you want. You can literally do anything. For example, I could start on A minor. Let me try moving to D. Feels like it wants to go somewhere else, maybe G. And then maybe E minor. So that was just rearranging the order of some of the chords that we already know. So I hope that these tools helped you get started in your songwriting journey. I know for me, I wrote my very first song using just the first three chords I knew. I think it was like G major to C major, maybe like E minor or something like that. Hey guys, sorry, I meant to say E major. We all make mistakes. I'm sorry. And again, the whole point of this video is to give you chords that definitely sound good together. If you want to keep progressing, of course, you might find your own rules for songwriting. There's really no right way to do it, but this hopefully gives you a good place to start. And down the road, when you get familiar with these basic diatonic chords we showed you, you can fill in the gaps and learn all of the diatonic chords of every key, if you want. So, long story short, I hope that this video will help you start exploring and writing immediately, having fun with music, and leave a comment down below of what chord progression you come up with that you think sounds good. So, thank you so much, have a great day.